Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the Zombri admin tools um, and the CF, the community framework, to your um, community server. Zombri, Amber Zombri admin tools are a very powerful uh, set of tools for um, giving yourself or people on your server god mode. Um, so you're indestructible, you can spawn items in, um, you can spawn buildings in, you can fly the camera around. Do all those wonderful things that you've always wanted to do in Daisy, and I've found that Zombri seems to be more reliable than community online tools, which seems to break a little bit more. So I'd kind of recommend Zombri. Also, seems to be a little bit easier to use because the the instructions are are basically on screen, are a little bit simpler. So anyway, as with almost everything Daisy, when it comes to modding, you start off in the Steam Workshop. So go to Community go to the workshop and then you want to search for day Z and then within day Z you want to search for Zombri there they are Zombri admin tools and you want to click on the subscribe button and that will start that downloading and you also want to make sure you're subscribed to the CF the community framework mod now once you've subscribed to those in your downloads down down here they'll those files will then start to download now while that's happening it's probably worth setting up and making sure you've got FileZilla or your FTP program um, working um, if you're not familiar with FTP this is the how we're gonna transfer files from our local PC our local laptop up to our server in the cloud there's plenty of other tutorials out there that show you how to do it um, but while we're here I might as well just file site manager PC nitrano one c we'll just connect to that right so that's all connected and then what we can do now is we can um, just find where the um, the downloads have gone um, so I have my uh, Daisy stuff installed to local disk C so I double click on here and it's in the program file that's for uh, that's called program files um, x86 so I go in there and then I look for steam and then I look for steam apps and then I look for common and then daisy is is the one we're looking for so if we go into daisy you see this folder called workshop now within the workshop if you double click in here there's all these lovely files these are all the mods that we download you know that when you go onto a server it kind of I guess it kind of uses these isn't it when it wants to do it but also we use these to, to change our server as well and remember there we go Zombri admin tools now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click in here now it, it did warn you not to change anything didn't it but what we need to do is if you go into the um, config there's an admins.cfg file and what I want you to do is I want you to edit that with notepad plus plus and you'll see there's a number there now that's a steam id and i'll put a description in the in below the video with how you find your steam id but what i need you to do is to find your steam id and then copy it over the top of that in admins.cfg also if you had other people on your server that you wanted to let them be admins this is where you would add their steam ids to then i want you to save that okay so that's all done because that's going to come in handy. That's the bit that tells the zombie mod when we log into our server that hey, we're an admin. Let us let us open up the zombie tools and let, let's crack on with having a good time playing as God and flying around and spawning in jeeps and all sorts of wonderful stuff. So let's close that for now. And then if we go over here and we go back to the file browser, we can just see they're all here so what we need to do next is we need to get these folders up onto our folder on our server in the cloud so if we go back to FileZilla and we've got Daisy standalone here so if we just open up this file structure here what you can actually see I've already got them I've already got them here but what we need to do is we need to find out where they are on our local PC and that can be a little bit complicated but the easy way to find it is because we found them already here if you click up here in the top right hand corner you'll see the we get an absolute um, direction an absolute address for the file so if we just right click copy that go into FileZilla and paste that there we're now 
in the right place. So all we do now is you make sure we click Daisy standalone and then we just go down to Zombri admin tools, right click upload and they'll get uploaded. Once that's done, go up to CF at CF, upload those and they'll come over here. Then what I recommend you do is, especially on Nitrado, um, anywhere where you're, you don't have access to the starting batch file um, that, that fires up the server. So for example, with Nitrado PC servers, you don't get access to the batch file that starts day Z. Um, it's in the settings and I think sometimes they have trouble with spaces. So I would change Zomberry space admin tools to Zombri dash admin dash tools like that. Okay, so we've now got the uh, the, the uh, mods uploaded onto the server. Now we need to sort out the keys. So you see, if we scroll down on the right hand side on our server, we'll see there's a folder called keys. So then what we do is here over on the left, we scroll down on the left to Zombri admin tools, click on the keys folder there, and there's the by key, the um, the vaker dot by key. Click on keys on the right. Click on that uh, on the left. Right click, upload. That will put it into this folder. It'll pop up. And then if we scroll back up to community framework, press plus next to that one. Go into the keys, and then we can upload the Jayco Mango V3 key by clicking upload there. And that will that will go over to that bit, which is nice and easy. Now at this point, we really want to get into our server. So open up your Nitrado or whoever supplies your server, find your PC server, go into the um, go into the, uh, the the dashboard, and then in Nitrado, it's under Settings General where we want to go, and this is where we tell the server which mods we want it to run. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you see I've already written them in additional mods this is the important thing so and then we say at cf semicolon at zombri dash admin tools and what you could do is if you wanted to if you weren't sure for your spelling you could copy these over from here so if for example we we left click that left click it again we then have the name you could right click you could copy that and then you could go back here and you could you could uh, type we could put them in so at cf at zombri admin tools when you've done that, save that and then restart the server and then you know, wait a couple of seconds. Now, if at this moment you're in FileZilla, the easy thing is to shut FileZilla down and come back in again. Or, this doesn't always work though, if you click on the, the file um, and then click F F5 on your keyboard and then come down to config and click F5 on your keyboard, that should refresh what's actually in there however it doesn't always work and sometimes things will happen in FileZilla and you'll think well I uploaded the file where is it gone and it doesn't appear so if in doubt shut it down and fire up FileZilla again and recontact and what you should see is you've now got a file a folder sorry called Zomberry has been created so the mod in the game has created the Zomberry, um, the Zomberry folder and now if we come back on the left hand side to our local PC if you go down to Zomberry Admin Tools and go into Config, know that file that we changed earlier, the admins.cfg one, where we added our Steam ID. What we do now is we make sure we clicked on Zomberry on the right, make sure we've got, we're have got we in the Config file on the left, uh, left click admins.config, right click it, upload, and that will then put that admins.config in the Zomberry um, folder and that means we're now going to be telling Zombri, look, this is our Steam ID. We're a, we're a um, we're an admin. Give us the power. Give us the power. So once we've done that, go back to Nitrado again. Make sure you save it and then restart the server once again. And that will then start to bring everything up. Now that you're basically there now, you've done everything you need to do. So what you can do now is if you fire up the Daisy launcher. Now remember the two mods that we've got running are um, Community Framework and Zombri Admin Tool, so make sure they're ticked. Go to your server. Um, let's wait for it to appear. Give it a couple of seconds, so here we go. 1C Scale Speed of Gaming, PC PVE. 
got two mods on it. Let's have a look which mod does it got. Zombri Admin Tools and Community Framework, which is perfect. Set up and join. Uh, here we go. Can I remember? <laughs> I can't remember. The, uh, is that the password? We're going to find out in a sec. Um, and then once we're in, you just type O on your keyboard and that will uh, f bring up the Zombri Admin Tools and that's where you can then um, activate God Mode, um, activate the free cam you can start spawning stuff in it's a very powerful tool and you know i recommend you have a play around with it and uh, and see what you can do um especially for content creation it's very good because you can obviously spawn things in to do tutorials um you can even do a little bit of cinematic work with the with the free cam um and uh, it, it's very very powerful indeed um so it's, you know one of the benefits of owning a um a server is that sometimes you know you want to be able to do some special stuff you can also install this locally on your local server and it can be very good for creating stuff and um, that's something i've done obviously when you're working with a local server things like this logging in and logging out and restarting things happens much more much 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 quicker right that's it so it should almost be ready to load us in now we should pop in and then we can press o and i can show you the here it comes I can show you the uh, little menu that pops up when you're in the game. I'd like to see them speed this up a bit. It would be a bit better, wouldn't it? If it did happen. You're always wondering if it's crashed at this point. Make sure like, the line hasn't worked. Okay. So let me just uh, go full screen so my cursor doesn't go mad. So here we go here's my fella and if i just press o there we go we've got the zombie admin tools so free cam execute how cool is this <laughs> then we can go o spawn objects let's put a truck down on that cursor shall we there's a truck down there now so there we go that my friend is how you install the zombie uh, admin tools very very powerful very very easy very very reliable compared to uh, community online tools and hopefully hopefully that's been helpful if you've got any other questions put them um, in the comment section down below if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon